let's see. Oh, welcome to the live chat. There's a warning on my screen. I ain't seen that before. Well, it's not a warning. Privacy. You guys better abide by those community guidelines. Because they're reminding you to behave. <laughs> let's see who's in here. Whoa. A few of you in here. We've got Frosted Sugar, Tammy, Carol, Tina, Gizmo, uh, Buttons and Bows. Nice to see you guys. Mira, I Heart Creepy Doll, Katie. All right. Oh, look at all you guys. Sugar's in here. Shadow Buffy. Gail's in here. It's your favorite, Preppy Laney. It's your, yeah, you know, it's Sir, what's that? It's your favorite, yeah. Donna, my heavenly baby. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you guys. I know I haven't been around with the video for a few days. I don't know what happened there. Uh, all I can say is, oh my gosh, what happened? So let's see. Well, we went to your Was office. that Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday, I went to my aunt's house. I was, I was in Reedley longer than I thought I would be. That was a lot of fun. So, um, I didn't get a chance. Oh, you know what it was? Is Saturday, I was going to come home and make my video for Sunday. Hey, Prims. Hey, Carter crew, my heavenly babies. Um, so, yeah, Debbie, hi. So, I was going to come home and make my video, but oh my gosh. At the party I went to on Saturday with my family, it was insane. Not <laughs> not like an insane party, like it was a rager or anything like that. No, it was just a family barbecue. But I learned, so like um, when growing up, you know, there was two sides to a story, but there was a third side because the third person was never involved and they were like censored from the family, you know, their part of the truth. So, on Saturday, oh my gosh, I learned so much truth because, like, my, it's just for instance, you know, one person tells one thing, the other person tells the other thing, and you're like, well, what's the third person's view? Because the third person's super important, you know? And, um, so I met with the third person this weekend, and, um, I learned a lot, I learned a lot, I learned a lot of truth to some family things that have been going on since before I was born and then the crazy thing right like I go to this family party and um I find out like my another my, so it was my one side of the family but then I find out that I have family members from my mom's side of the family at this party and I'm like wow this is insane because I had no idea there was relations here but um so yeah so we're gonna be painting I'm starting this toddler. I have no idea what his name is. It's by Sandy Faber. Gail should know the name to this kid. Gail. Oh, it's so adorable. Gail, what's this one's name? <laughs> this one's so cute. Hey, dolls of all kinds of fashion. So, we're starting painting this one. I've already done my base layer, which is um, varnish. She's Gail so doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't looked it up yet. I had to look up the last one. Um, so we're gonna, I've already done my varnish layer on it. So I thought my next layer is veins. So we're gonna paint and hang out. But yeah, so I learned about, um, so I have an older brother and I grew up with him as my cousin. But when I was, but there was always a rumor that he was my older brother, right? So when I, but when I was 24, it was confirmed by my mother after my parents got divorced that that brother that cousin was my brother uh biologically and um then that's like that following week i run into my brother in town because i was visiting and he confirmed that he was my brother so it was really cool i took a photo with him that day which i'll have to share because it's the last photo i have with him um because he, well no i might have another one but i don't it's like a family photo kind of maybe some cousins but, um, you know, he passed away a few years ago, and so, yeah, so I learned a lot. I met some nieces and nephews I don't even know, and they're really old. Um, 
well, they're like, I think like 8 to probably 15 years old around there. I didn't actually get their total ages. But they are, you know, a little bit older. I have, so from my brother, hey, Elizabeth. Uh, from my brother, I have four uh, nieces and nephews. Two nieces, two uh, nephews. So, and then uh, my niece, you know, I'm going to be spending more time with them. So I'm so excited. And then I met another cousin. So this is a part of the family that was my mom's part of the family. So I met another cousin and she's 79. She's my um, third cousin. She was so excited to see me. She hadn't seen me. You know, everybody, you know what older people do to you? They're like, the last time I saw you, you were this high. You know, like three feet high. That's where they put their hand. <laughs> and I was like standing there going, I have never seen you in my life. So I don't know who you are, but I'm looking at her going, you look just like my mom's grandma, my great great grandma. I'm like, I didn't know why she was there, but she had married into this other side of the family. And uh, so, yeah, so that's how the connection got there. But so I, I met her and she cleared up a lot of stories that were confusion growing up uh, from my mom's side of the family. So that was really cool. And she was so excited to see me. That she's like, please just come over anytime. I want to see you. I want to get to know you more. Please don't call. Just come right over. And I, I live 35 minutes away, so I definitely would have to call, right? But it's just so nice to feel so loved and wanted. I, you know, I'm going to be seeing my aunt again uh, this weekend, which is the mom. No, later this week, I'm going to see the mom of my brother before she goes back home because she lives in Texas now. So I'll be hanging out with her one more time this week. Uh, she actually wanted me to come over today too, but I just, you know, have to work and stuff. But it's so nice to just feel so loved. You know, I've been spending a lot of time with my Aunt Karen and Uncle David. So, so much fun. Which, guys, this 4th of July celebration for YouTube is going to be fun. Woo! We are going to have so much fun. So much fun. So this 4th of July is going to be different than any of my 4th of July's because um, my aunt and uncle, we are going to go to their house and have 4th of July Yay! there. So that is going to be so fun. Um, I can't wait. They live on a hill and I'm hoping to like maybe we can see fireworks, I don't know, from up top because they have a balcony. I, but we're going to be lighting off fireworks. We're going to barbecue and... Um, so there'll be more fun footage Yay! from um, my uncle's house. Oh, and my my aunt, also the uh, mom of my older brother. I call her my aunt because when I was younger, she was married to my uncle who raised my older brother. Um, and uh, so she, I knew her as my aunt. That's why that's how my brother played into being my cousin as well. Uh, we're, no, we're not going to get into that. We could talk about that for hours. But... Um, just a lot of chaos. So, I don't know what I was saying. <clears throat> Something about go, about seeing your aunt. Yeah, so we're going to be going there again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got footage from my aunt. I have reactions from my aunt and from my third cousin and from another uh, lady there. I don't think I'm related to her. Uh, but we have reactions. It's so fun. So tomorrow... There's going to be a reaction. Yeah, little um, little Midwest. So, it has been great. Like, my aunt and uncle that you guys have seen us currently hanging out with, um, we have, you know, due to family issues and reasons amongst the adults, um, I'd actually been estranged from them for a very, very long time. I mean, geez, I don't know. Actually, 30 years. Never really gotten to know them because of family issues so it was really it's been really amazing uh, being around them oh my gosh they are such wonderful people oh my aunt and uncle are they're the tops they are the best I have to say the favorite aunt and uncle award goes right to them but um yeah and then my brother's mom wanting to hang out with me you know that's so awesome because uh, you know, I she really loved me when I was little. She's just like, oh my gosh. She's like, I always have loved you so much. <laughs> so.
So, um, it's been really great. I hate that she has to go back to Texas, but, you know, just gotta do what you gotta do. So, it, it has been really nice. It is nice to have family around that is real family, and they really care about you. You know, they really do care about you. They're not just trying to use you for your money or you know to go on trips or what can you do for them what can you get them for christmas you know they are real they're real family like they don't care if you're poor or if you're living on the street they'll still treat you like a million bucks like they're really cool people you know like zero judgment oh my gosh and then they love the dolls so much so we get to take them to do videos like something totally different right they live by the river, so maybe one day we'll take the dolls to the river. Wouldn't that be fun, going to the river? We just won't put them in there. Hey, Osaka-chan! But the river right now is overflowing because, well, lots of rain and then the snow water. The uh, little foot is in the way when you're uh, painting. <laughs> there's always a foot in the way. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we couldn't go down to the river this time because it's not safe right now. The waters will recite a little bit. They can go every year, just that. So we're just veining up this baby. I'm happy, let's see. I'm happy for you. I don't get along with the family that's left. Yeah, see, um, that's in everybody's family. I'm like the black sheep because I always tell the truth, tell it like it is, and they don't like that. There's a lot of narcissists in my family. Um. And see, and me and my uncle were like, we're quite a bit a lot alike. He's not, he's like me. I feel like he's a black sheep of the family. He's estranged from my dad for pretty much the same reasons I am. And um, he's just like a super cool person. Like, oh my gosh, I never knew how cool he was. He's just so nice. So if you ha have a moment to reconnect with family that you think may not like you, hey, Ashley, Abby. Take a chance and reach out to him. That's what I did. I needed them at my most desperate time. I was like, I got no family. Do you love me? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. What happened to Osaka? My dad died. Oh, no, Osaka. I'm so sorry to hear that. Cancer. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll be sending you lots of positive thoughts. I know it's not going to be easy. But there's a lot of women here who have lost their fathers and can help you, you know, if you ever need any help. Jackie lost her dad at a really young age. Um, it's not easy. And with time, it, it does get, it's not that it gets easier, but you learn how to, how to deal with it. Well, I'm glad I came live, Osaka. I really am. I'm glad I am here because, well, I haven't been here lately. But I am glad that I'm here because, you know, you really need somewhere to hang out tonight. I'm really sorry to hear about that. We send, you know, love to your family. I wish we were closer, but we are really far apart. Tina's dad's been gone 20 years. Oh, man. I bet it seems like just yesterday, too. This doll has such nice limbs. Oh, and the basic art dolls, guys. The basic art baby is on a 24-hour sale. Oh, my gosh. So, today's been a bit of chaos. <laughs> I um, have had... I've, I've been, recently, I've been dealing with some very... Oh, I've gotten some messages from some family members, and they've just been um, mentally exhausting. Let me just say that much. That's all I'm going to say. I've been just gotten some messages and I'm just like, I'm exhausted. So, um, I've been dealing with that exhaustion today. And then <laughs> we thought we needed brakes on the car. So we take the car to get brakes. No, it doesn't need brakes. This car has been, I'll tell you what, this car has been nothing but issues since I bought it. Left the... I left the feedback on the company, what the feed, you know, true feedback, and it was professional feedback, but it was negative feedback because of the, because we're going to have to, by the time we're done with this car, we've already invested thousands into it after I just paid $8,000 for it. Um, yeah, we were sold just a pile. 
So anywho, so we thought we needed new brakes. Doesn't need new brakes. It's got new brakes. So then they're like, you need new tires. It's wearing on the inside. You need new tires and an alignment. All right, let's go do it. Go get new tires. <laughs> like, oh, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. And then we go to get it aligned, and they're like, your car's broken. <laughs> what do you mean the car's broken? I'm like, come on, man. This just happened like at six o'clock, by the way. It wasn't that long ago. Um, we've been out with this car all day long. So, we can't get the car aligned because the car's broken. And, <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. So, your tires are held on by arms. The arms are like this. This is how they explain them. They look like this. Your tire goes in here. Okay. So, they're held on by these arms. Okay. The arms are broken. The arms that hold the tires are broken. So, what that's doing is when you drive the car, it sounds like you have a loud, a loud vibrator going. Well, because the front tires are rubbing uh, it, on the metal inside of the car. So it sounds like a loud vibrator, and it's like and it's like, what is that? So, the arms are broken. They need to be replaced. I was like, what is this gonna cost? And he said, six, seven hundred dollars? I'm like, is it unsafe to drive like this right now? He's like, no, it's not unsafe, but it, you know, it's just gonna wear your tires out really fast. Well, of course, no duh. <sighs> that's what it's already done. So, um, yeah, so that's one problem. <laughs> then there's another problem at the base of the engine that I don't think is a serious problem either, but it sounds pretty expensive. Like we're talking another thousand dollars to fix all four of them because there's four of them on the car um but it's at the base of the engine one of them's broken we're not sure if all of them are broken but the guy's pretty sure they all might be broken and i was like well what is that gonna cost he's like my labor alone is like six hundred dollars i'm thinking wow how much are the parts how much are the parts oh my god and the sad thing is, is that I can't go leave feedback on this company because I left my negative professional review and they contacted me and threatened to sue me because of my social media account following status. Now, I didn't take this to social media. I just went to Google, you know, on Google and left it. But there's a problem there. See, now, I get really good views on my Google reviews. And they've seen that you you know you can look that up. So like a lot of my Google reviews, they get over fifty thousand, a hundred thousand views, and that's by people here in Fresno. So they threatened to sue me over my feedback. Everybody just wants to sue you. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. Because I don't know. you're rich or something. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to leave feedback though, in an anonymous way. Because I'm um, going to get my feedback. With, um, Frosted Sugar Cookies wanted to see the smiley baby again. So that's the... Hi, Amber. So that's one part of the car issue. But let me tell you, when we went to go get the oil changed um, last month... Oh, I don't know if they can do that, but I think it's just the threat. No, they, they're supposed to not be able to do that. But look, I don't... I don't need any legal problems. I don't want to even see a court. I don't even want to see a person delivering me papers to my door. Like, I just don't even, you know what? I don't want to risk it. You keep your feedback. I will one day leave my feedback. You just won't know it's me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, so, when, so another problem with this car, when we went to get the oil changed a month ago, the motor uh, bracket, was that what it was called? Motor bracket? What? That motor thing that was broken. I think it's called the motor bracket. The one bracket. that you got replaced over mm -hmm. here? Yeah. I, I can't remember. It was called the motor bracket. Motor Anyways. Mount. Motor mount? Motor mount. The motor mount. Yes, Gail. The motor mount was broken. So I had to pay 250 bucks to replace that because 
the oil people were like, your car is so dangerous to drive right now because of that cracked motor mount. And I was like, what do you mean how dangerous? They're like, look, you just need to push, like gently push on the gas when you go and don't slam on the brakes. I'm like, Lord, let's just hope nobody pulls out in front of me. So this car, I, I, I paid $8,000 for cash and <laughs> And now I'm going to be investing like maybe three more grand in it. Is it worth it three more grand? I mean, I don't know. It's a 2007 Toyota Camry. I mean, it's pretty nice. Low mileage. I'm just kind of at a loss of words. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's just like one thing after another. And let me tell you what. We did our research. And this place, I know where the... Well, where the owner's brother lives because the owner brother took us out to dinner several times. Do you think we thought we were getting screwed on our car purchase? I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't think so. <laughs> because he took us out to dinner and lunch like several times over a three week period. Now we were wondering if he was just trying to date us. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, which that is not how we work. Yeah, that's not how we work. But we're like, why was he so nice to us if he screwed us with the car? You know, we don't, we can't figure it out. We're just like, I cannot figure it out. Well, anyways, at least it runs. At least the engine doesn't do any sputtering. Welcome, pineapple. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, Carol, I'm just, you know, this is one thing after another, I swear. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know. That's just my luck. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always had this kind of just not good luck, not good luck at all. I'm like, well, I thought it would change when I got older, though. I really just thought it was just like a childhood curse. No, it's just like, oh my gosh, we just rolled to the side and got paint on our head. Like, seriously, boy, why are you doing me wrong like that? Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so I, I made it here tonight so we can hang out. <laughs> yeah, sorry, and guys. And vent a little bit. Yeah, she needed to vent a little. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I'm just like, between people trying to email me and... <laughs> manipulate me I'm just like and emotionally just wearing me out and this car I'm like what more well and then all the information I learned all the wonderful truth about my family like I'm just an overload so oh my goodness but life has been great I I it's been wonderful I I just cannot be thankful enough for you know, I've been through some tough things, but I will have to tell you what. I wouldn't change it for anything. I wouldn't change my daughter running away. I wouldn't change anything. I have no regrets to the situations I'm in because let me tell you something. I have learned so much about the people who are so close, who I thought were close to me and my family. I've learned so much. I've learned who they are. I've learned to see their true colors by how they treat me. I've learned who respects me, who disrespects me, who takes me for granted, who loves me and who doesn't love me. And let me tell you what, the people that I thought that loved me were like immediate family, I come to find out don't love me at all. The people that do love me are my aunt and uncle, my my other aunt who's just come back into my life my third cousin who's just come back into my life me and the, and and jackie and they love jackie oh my gosh they love jackie they never they're like when they invite me over they're like can you and your wife please come over like they always include her i had some problems with that in my family they're not including her carol says we love you here thank you so <laughs> Even though the situation sucked and I felt like I was dying at times, um, you know, I would not change them for the world because 
If those situations had never happened, I would never have my Aunt Karen and, and Uncle David back in my life or in my life because, and I would never have my grandma's wedding ring. Like, oh, oh my, it's just like, even though I get some pretty bad luck, I have some really good luck too. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I'm just saying, even though you guys may hit some really rough patches, and things may happen in your life that you don't like the way they go. I will tell you what is sad and horrible. There's always a reason it goes this way. Um, for instance, Jackie lost her father at a really young age. But Jackie had told me, if I'd never lost my father, I probably would have never met you. And so that is finding the positive in the negative situation right the negative situation is she lost her father but positive she found me and then you want to know what's cooler is that i make sounds like he does yeah she does no one else in this world grunts like my father like my father grunts and no one and she does this other sound that only i've ever heard him make so it's like he he's his presence is here through her. It's the craziest thing. Sometimes I feel like he sent her to me. So yeah, so I know, call me crazy. <laughs> no, but I mean, so with as hard as it may be, you know, we're, we're, we all are, um, we lose people all the time and it's hard to find the positive in that situation because losing someone, even losing a pet is super devastating, right? And it's hard to find the positive. But somewhere in the grim, hey Shelly, somewhere in the grim, darkest moments, you can find that tiny glimmer of light. You can. I have been in some very dark moments and it was that tiny, tiny little light that got me through. And sometimes that tiny light is just a drink from your favorite beverage, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, I know his energy is here. He, Sometimes he, I know he's around, and I don't even know the name, but I know he's around because he does bother me. He does bother me at times. And he only bothers me. He doesn't bother her. I'm like, dude, your dad was just here. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's over here, you know, like, I don't know what he wants, but he's over there. I'm like, he's done left, though. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so, but yeah, he, he does come around. It's weird. Uh, I've been in tune with that part of my life since I was little. I've seen things, you know, like things I don't want to see, you know, shadow men and stuff. But um, I like now I see positive energies. <laughs> and I, yeah, it's weird when it happens. Oh, why was I looking for my mouse for the computer? <laughs> I was like right now looking for Shadow Buffy says she lost her dad when she was seven and a half and your mom was five. Oh, that's. That had to have been really hard for your mother. I can't imagine. Oh, my goodness. Oh man, I got a water over here, I'm so thirsty. Did we ever figure out this toddler's name? Yeah, she, Ken, I think she said Kenzie? Oh yeah, that sounds familiar. I believe, if I remember correctly, she said it a you know, it's been a bit. <laughs> yeah, it, that sounds like one. Yeah, she said Kinsey. It sounds like it would be a lady. She's typed so fast. <laughs> Gal, I know, Gal's wicked fast. I, don't, I think Gal cheats the system over there. <laughs> she's like, I'm right outside your house. <laughs> I know, she's always the quickest on Mad Libs. So she's usually the quickest on Mad Libs. I don't want to say always because there are some other people who are getting ahead sometimes. But uh, she's really quick on there. She's usually like the first one. Amanda has said something. I can't. I have thinner on my hand right now. What's it say? She said, I lost my three-year-old daughter when she was three due to child abuse. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't know empathy the way I do now. I, I will hold you if your cat dies and be there every step of the way. I am so sorry to hear that. <clears throat> that is just it's horrible. Okay. Oh, this world is a cruel, cruel place. If I haven't, something that I've learned since 2022, no, 2020, when I started, you know, looking into some deep truths of the world, it's a very cruel, cruel place. Unfair. 
No one should ever suffer that loss. A loss of a child, I just can't even imagine. I mean, my kid ran away, and that's our, that is already unbearable. And she's alive. But that is just a, a loss of a child. I just can't. Couldn't even imagine it. I really commend those living forward, because I don't know if I could move forward. I don't know if I could live forward with that loss. I've often thought about it. I'm like, the way my emotions are, I don't know, man. I lose it so bad over a freaking spider. <laughs> like, I feel sorry for myself that I get that emotion, that horrible. Like, I feel so bad that I couldn't save the spider. I don't know how I would possibly save the spider, because I don't know what to do. But I just, I beat myself up with too that. Speaking of spiders, I have a Charlotte's Web. <laughs> I am really into this spider right now. Um, so has anybody ever seen a daddy long leg nest? You know what daddy long legs are? Have you ever seen a daddy long leg nest? Hey Susie! I had never seen a daddy long leg nest. Okay, Tammy, it's so cool. I'm gonna have to send you photos. <laughs> I'm gonna have to send you photos. Carol. Oh yeah, I gotta give her her poof, Carol. She's right by my desk. Well, where I work, not my desk. Her basic art little baby oh, yeah. over there. We. Yeah, we're gonna. I gotta root her little poof poof. Uh, yeah, so the daddy long leg spiders. In all my 40 years, I have never seen a nest. Nana's seen one. Until this week. Well, Nana, you know how cool they are. Um, it was last week. I went outside and I saw, because, you know, I have a couple little daddy long legs that hang out above my front porch. And I leave them there so they can eat the mosquitoes, man, because we got mosquitoes around here. So it was up there and I noticed, like, this bubble. It was, like, literally like a web bubble. And I was like, what is that? Like, what spider has just made this bubble web? Oh, you know what? If you bring me my old phone, I can actually show them. I have that photo. Okay. So, and I look closer, and I see a daddy long leg, and in its mouth has this sack hanging. Oh, and there's wait, tons of little... Did you send it to Heather? You can use my phone oh, to I show did send the, it to the Heather. actual nice photo that you... Oh, no, I sent that through my personal... Through my comment with Heather. I didn't realize it went there. Oh, you didn't send it through the messenger? No, oh. I accidentally sent it through mine. Um, so it holds them, and there's 50 eggs in there. I had to go research this stuff, okay? Because I'm like, when are the babies going to be born? We got to throw a baby shower. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, we got a lot of kids out here. It was dead. Oh, it was dead? Oh. Or off. Oh, shoot, it might be dead. Um, so, so, yeah, so I saw that. I recorded it. So the mom, she makes a protective bubble web right there and she's super aggressive too when she I'll tell you in a minute and anyway so then I go out two days later I've been watching her every day the next day I noticed the egg sack like the sack with the 50 little babies because she has 50 babies and they're in there between two to three weeks and then when they come out they're supposed to ride mom's back for a week they didn't ride mom's back we'll get there so um Saw so the sack had like dropped and I was like, oh my God, I think they're going to be hatching soon. They're getting a little bigger. Then the next day I go out and there's all kinds of little, in that wet bubble, there's all kinds of little tiny black polka dots. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm a grandma to 50 little freaking <laughs> spiders up there right now, right? I have been recording the entire process. I've been sharing on TikTok. <laughs> and um oh my god they're in it's so cool so i got this wicked phone and you can't see the footage on it because well i'm on the phone right now but i got a new phone it's a samsung galaxy 23 ultra <laughs> and it came. Like, congratulations Stephanie. i am so proud of them you should use the photo i've been taking photos of them they're so freaking cute I'm just like, what are we gonna do with them though? I don't know. Well, they're Anyways, gonna take a, off a week after they're born or so. Life. They're apparently gonna run away. I'm really sad that they're running away from home again. <laughs> Here we go. My 50 grand babies are gonna run away. Um, yeah. So I got the Galaxy 23 Ultra, and I can zoom in a hundred times. Let me tell you what. 
we can see everything on these spiders. From your eye, you can't see their legs because they're so tiny. But with, with this camera, you can see their legs. So adorable. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> and my phone is dead, so I can't even show you anything. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just useless right now. But on my TikTok, I do share the little spiders. And anyway, so... <laughs> It's Charlie. It is Charlie's <laughs> web all over again. But so the but the the mama daddy the mama daddy long leg she kills the boy. She eats him. Wait, she does? I don't know if she eats him, but she kills him. Okay, so I don't know which if she eats him, but she does kill him. I don't oh, know how. Okay. I assume she probably eats him. Oh, I thought he just died on his own. I don't know, man. It says she kills him. Oh. Yeah. So when so when sad. they mate, she kills it. And then the mom daddy long legs live up to two to three years. See, I've done my research. <laughs> it was I was never into daddy long legs until I saw the nest and I was like, so that's how you get here. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the black widow nest. I have way too many of those and I light them on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I will Although we not. Haven't seen we black have not widow. seen any because I keep that stuff sprayed. I don't spray where my daddy long legs hang out, but I keep the black widow sprayed. We also have white widows. Oh, don't you get near white widow. Those are super dangerous. Don't let the don't let people they say they are much bigger than Let a me black tell you what, people say white widows aren't dangerous. Oh no, they're dangerous. And they are much bigger than a black widow. They are the scariest little widows I've ever seen. I saw one once, and that's all I ever want to see of a yeah, white widow. I had nightmares no more. for days. <laughs> I'm like, hey, JJ, so is there one inside the house? Yeah, yeah. white widow, and they like jumped like near my face. I think or wasn't I close to it? Oh no, I was you watering was, the lawn. Yeah, I was, was watering, watering the lawn, and that thing just went. Poof. I was like, whoa! <laughs> Where are you coming from? <laughs> and I'm like, first off, why are you white? Because <laughs> you're supposed to be a black widow. I had no idea they existed. I was just like, I've seen brown widows, you know. But no, if I see a black widow nest, I'll tell you what, I got a torch and I will torch it. That's it. <laughs> we don't mess around with those at all. And I, don't, I haven't even done my research on them. I don't know how many babies they have, but they shouldn't be having babies. Because we keep those to themselves. But yeah, so I have my daddy long leg obsession right now. <laughs> So I'm doing some mottling. So when I do my veining, I do like two to three layers of mottling and then I bake my doll. But yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna share some photos of my babies on Instagram. Cause I'm such a proud grandma. <laughs> I do love them. I, I mean, I'm gonna be bummed when they're gone because I go outside and I just look at them. I'm like, you guys are so cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a life. That's my life. <laughs> Insects. <laughs> Um, it's, you know, it, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. And you don't realize how pretty a daddy long leg is until you zoom in on them. You're like, whoa, you guys are interesting little things. Crazy. But yeah, I don't like, tr you know, big spiders or anything. I didn't think I liked the daddy. I like the daddy long legs because they eat the mosquitoes. <laughs> but I wasn't like, oh, I'll have you as a pet, but now I'm a grandma. <laughs> to 50 of them and I've been monitoring them because there's other daddy long legs there's two of them there's two more adult ones and they're not eating the babies the mom's very good the mom is very <laughs> protective of the babies if like little bugs get near them she tries to stomp their head I see her running and she's like pff, 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 with her leg <laughs> and I'm like whoa what is going on out here it's like a fight and the bug is like ah Running away. Jackie's like, are you sure was trying to eat? I was like, no, she looked like she's trying to stab it with her leg. Are you sure that thing was about to get pushed to the ground? Yeah, she's pretty protective of them. It's just what I've learned. I'm the biter. I'm the daddy long leg mom. Uh, um, there's a lot of people saying congratulations, Grandma. <laughs> and then Nana Helen said, have you seen a cluster of... Daddy long legs, when you get close to them, they will all bounce. It looks weird. They will all bounce? Yeah, they all bounce. I don't know. Like in their web or like walking around? I hear daddy long legs will lay their eggs in the dirt and then when they're born, they just start popping out the ground. I was like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Kung Fu Spider? No, um, I haven't, I'm gonna have to pay attention. When you blow on the web, they, they bounce around. I'm gonna have to, no, I haven't noticed that. But I've just been stalking the mom. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna start paying attention to the other people's behavior near her. 
You know, since I'm becoming the specialist, <laughs> I gotta pay attention to their behavior. <laughs> it's just straight up before I avoid spiders. You know, I mean, I really like the jumping spiders because they're like the puppy dogs of the spiders and they're so cute. I have, I don't like go looking out for them, but when, I swear, if you'd have saw this bubble web, it would have caught your attention too because I was like, who's, who's making bubbles up there? Like, I've never seen this before. <laughs> like, what's going on? So, it was, you know, it's quite interesting. See, they will all bounce at the same time. Huh. I gotta find a cluster. Like I, I have three, but they're like she's up here, one's over here, and one's over here. So they're not together. But right now, I have a little tiny cluster um of babies. But they're so small I wouldn't be able to see them bounce. They're really good spiders. I don't like to see people kill them because they're not mean to you, those ones. They're nice. They're friendlies. Don't kill the friendlies. Kill the f I did kill a faux spider today. I was like, whoa, 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 there's a faux. <laughs> <laughs> you were quick. It was running at me. I was like, faux, get out of here. <laughs> we were squishing you. I was sitting on the ground uh, outside, and all of a sudden, I see this little pshh, And I was like, what the? Picked up my leg, and I was like, ah, faux. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how you did it. <laughs> I was like, Jackie's like, what? I was like, that was not a friendly spider. That was a faux. <laughs> Then you see someone riding in the spider with me, Ma! Oh God, no! I don't know what I'll do if the spider start riding something. <laughs> I might be like, Charlotte's Web was true. <laughs> Charlotte's Web was true! Well, you see, do you, see, but Charlotte dies at the end, right? So I got kind of sad. I was like, man, the mom's going to die. So this is why I had to go research it because I was like, yeah, and Charlotte, the mom dies after she has the babies, and then the babies just leave. It's, like, so sad. And um, I was like, wait, do all spiders die after that baby? So I had to go research it. Nope, they don't die, but the male, he gets killed. So I don't want to ever be a male daddy long leg. If I'm a male daddy long leg, I'm staying single for life. <laughs> I don't want no kids. You know what those kids are? It's death! <laughs> they can't help their instincts. Oh, we're gonna run from our instincts. We want to live. <laughs> we want life. I don't care if you want kids. Great, go get your own. Go get a different boo. I'm running away over here. Hello, Elaine. Oh, Wasper. Yeah, Wasper. You know they're dangerous. Those ones. Yellow Jack is a bit worse. Welcome. So happy to have you here. I run. I don't run from them, but I avoid wasps and yellow jackets because they will, they get aggressive. You got to have a straight spray killer for them. Don't mess around. Once we had a truck that made a wasp nest in it, oh my gosh. That was exciting. I ran so far from it. <laughs> that was, that was exciting. That was like, oh God, I hope they don't all come out and attack as soon as that hits them. <laughs> and they die pretty instantly. Nana said me too. <laughs> yeah, they're, you know, I, like I said, I don't like to uh, mess with the bugs. I will save bees all day long. Um, if it's a bee, I will take my time to save it. Bees are friends. The Carter crew was attacked by those red ones last year. She's traumatized now. Yeah, I've been at the, when I was a kid, I got attacked by one too. They just keep coming back. Bam, bam. Oh, I've been bit by a meat bee once. That was a horrible experience. Freaking pulled a plug of meat out of my chest right here. And I kid you not, I turned around and saw that bee with my skin. Oh my gosh, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, I don't like meat bees at all. Things are oh my god, that's meat bees are right there in the mountains. Yeah, I'm staying away. <laughs> you bring out a thing of meat and that's it. Love you too, Osaka. Aww. They will be eating your lunch before you eat it. And you. Oh yeah, man. One flew into my shirt and can pull the little out of my chest. And I swear I saw that bee with this little piece of meat flying right behind me. You've never heard of a meat bee? Well, you go look it up. Me either, Tamario, till I met her. I was like, what? 
<laughs> Jen, has maybe you can join me live one day. Like, you want to go live with me, Osaka? Like, you want to be in the screen? We could do that. Well, that would be cool. Ooh, that would be a lot of That fun. would be different. You're in Japan. Tammy hasn't heard of them. Jen hasn't heard of them. I don't know if that's their technical name, but Are around you sure it's here. A bee? Yeah, it's called a meat bee. Let's look it up. Uh, let's see. Around here, they're called meat bees. That's what we call them. And they take your plug of. They take a. They take meat when they bite you. They take meat. Anything coming up? I don't know what their technical well, name is. Well, it says, "What is a meat bee? Yellow jacket wasp." They. Oh no! Wait, no, that is incorrect. Let me keep reading. Well, they call ye yellow jackets meat bees. But uh, maybe I'm it's a, a sure. see. I don't know the technical name, but that's what everybody calls them. And when they bite you, they take a plug of meat. And they they are yellow and black, like a wasp. They do look like a wasp. No, a yellow jacket. They're yellow and black, with little white wings. So, and they're just like a bee size, but they're not a wasp. You know, they're like. It is very painful. Oh, it's very painful. It is no joke. Like, you swell a little bit, too. Like, it mounds up, and then you have that missing piece of meat. <laughs> well, uh, there's something called the vulture bee. bee, bee uh-huh. And it salivates on the rotting flesh and then consumes it. No, these eat. These will just bite. <laughs> these just bite. It might be like that form of a uh, yellow jacket. It didn't look, maybe put Sequoia Mountains meat bee, because that's where they are. Oh, okay. Yeah, so try Sequoia Mountains. Somebody's got, everybody around here calls them a meat bee. I'm not the only one around here. I did not make up the term. I was told the term. Okay, you want to go live with me? Okay, we'll have to figure that out. Because you are on, you, we're, we're. Uh, mess message me on Facebook. We'll set something up on that. We'll meat, get a date that works. Meat eating yellow jacket. Yeah, it's a meat eating yellow jacket. That's what it is. It's a meat eating yellow jacket. Yeah, horse flies are nasty. Run from those, they bite. They are in the Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park here. So that's the only place where they're at? Well, that's what I've seen. I mean, I'm not, I haven't done a full research. So it's a me, it's a meat eating yellow jacket, and so far they're in the Sequoia and the Yosemite King's National Canyon. Kings Canyon. So if you go to Yosemite, they're there too. <laughs> so they're right here in our mountains, and yeah, they they are yellow and black like a yellow jacket. Makes sense. Little jerks. No wonder why they're so mean. So if you are cooking your breakfast and you have ham out. They are grabbing pieces of meat. Like, they're eating your... They eat any kind of meat. It doesn't have to be dead. It can be cooked. It says yellow jacket wasps are primarily meat eaters, but they have a sweet tooth, especially in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why I have seen them on candy when we're out when we were out camping as a kid. Yeah, because... <gasps> oh, as a kid... I yeah. don't like looking at the photos. Yeah, those are one bees that you see them and you run. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm not messing around with you. I'm going that way. <laughs> but what happened was, is I was riding my bike in the mountains, and one flew in my shirt, and my mom hears me screaming from afar, and she thinks I'm screwing around. And they go down there, and they see me whipping my clothes off. <laughs> I was like 13 years old. They see me whipping my clothes off, and I'm like, it bit me, it bit me. They're like, what? And I'm like, the meat bee chasing me with my meat. <laughs> chasing me with my meat. Oh, no. Oh, it's so terrifying. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not the first time I've had to whip off my clothes because something bit me. Oh, man, I have a horrible time. My grandparents have a home out in Herlong. And it's all desert. If you've been to Herlong, it is straight. Hills have eyes. Okay, so, um... We're all gonna go quadding, and I'm like, are we gonna use like any bug spray or anything like that? And um, did you know me and bugs? I got bit by a meat bee. And everybody looks at me like I'm the idiot of the group. My whole family, like there's like 20 of them. And they're like, we have been riding out here in the desert for years. <laughs> None of us have been bit. No, we don't have bug spray, and I'm like, it really wasn't a dumb question. It really, 
really did need that. All that effort. No. Okay, cool. Fine. Let's go ride. Give me my quad. Where's that? We're going. So I'm on my quad. Oh my god. I'm on my quad riding. Next thing I know, something goes in my shirt and full on is attacking me. Left side, right side. I mean, this thing is beating me up in my shirt. So I have, my aunt is riding behind me. The family's up ahead. So I slam on the brakes. I start whipping my shirt off. And my aunt comes up and she's like, what is going on? And I'm like, I'm being attacked by this bug. I don't know where it's at. She's like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me, Stephanie. Not right now. She's like, there's no bugs out here like that. And I'm like, there's scorpions. We know there's bugs. What are the scorpions eating? So she's like, let me see, because I'm out there in my bra at this point. <laughs> she's just like, and sure enough, I had all these big, it, it was like two holes. Whatever was biting me was putting two holes at a time. A vampire. And I had them a on vampire my- vampire bug. I had them all different areas of my body. She's like, okay, there's nothing in your shirt. Get dressed, we gotta go back. <laughs> so she takes me back. And my grandpa's there. And she's like, you are never gonna believe what just happened out in the desert. I was like, yeah, I told you I need a bug spray. So I'll have to say right now. She goes, so your granddaughter, I'm riding behind her and the next thing I know, I see her whipping her clothes off in the middle of the desert. And I'm like, why is she getting naked? She got bit all over. Look at her body. She has these red welts everywhere. <laughs> I was like, yeah, see, so next time, like, when I ask for bug spray, can we not make fun of me and just give me the bug spray? Like, why was it so hard? Like, why did I have to be sacrificed? <laughs> That's how I saw it was a sacrifice. And everybody made fun of me after that. I was like, why? I don't understand. I, it was simple. Well, I just needed the bug spray. <laughs> so I took my bug spray from now on when I, when I went out there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, oh my gosh, that is just a freaking adventure. Like, I'm telling you, I I have this craziest luck, luck. like bad <laughs> luck. I have the craziest bad luck, but it's funny. It's, it's comical when you want to look at it. A couple years later, you've gotten over the emotional damage, you know? <laughs> and then I have good luck, you know? But I'm like... I always have to be on the edge because I don't know what crazy stuff is going to happen behind my back, you know? <laughs> oh, man, happy birthday to your dog, your mom's dog. But, yeah, so quite the experience. It's just a little bit about my life is all I have to say. So we've got a layer of mottling on this guy. <laughs> Turns out Steph is delicious. Yeah, I'm a total mosquito magnet as well. Um, yeah, it, I am. So the other day, I, I was watering the lawn. Tell me how this one mosquito decided to just unleash on me and it beat me on both my hands. Like both my hands in the same spot. I was like, why? Why do you guys have to do this to me? I get ate up on my legs. I'm just, I'm just a mosquito victim and there's so many. <laughs> oh, Tina's always getting chased too. Well, that's good, I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> hey, April. <laughs> But yeah, we have bad mosquitoes in Fresno, and they did not spray this year. They did not try to quarantine those things. No. Instead, we're quarantining in the house because they're outside. Like, you know, they're just out there like crazy. But yeah, so we're, uh, now I'm going to do a second layer of Motlene on this dog. Oh, my gosh. I don't really have any other bug stories. I do have a pretty funny squirrel story, though. When yeah, I, I wanted to tell you something yeah. that Osaka said about... Oh, yeah, she said, you will not like the bees or hornets from here in Japan. They have flesh eating aid in them. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> you know what? I thought I wanted to move to Japan, but... <laughs> you know, that TikToker I follow on Japan, he doesn't talk about those bugs. And I'm going to ask him why. Uh, cause he makes it seem like I really want to move to Japan. Like I'm like about to sell all my stuff to move to Japan because Japan seems so awesome. But I, 
You know, I have to rethink about that. That just canceled those plans. <laughs> she wants to see my baby. No. Where's your baby? I need to change her. <laughs> you need to. I was thinking about that today. Hey, Black Lotus. On her. Look here she is. Look at her. Hi. She's cute. She's so adorable in her little cup noodles hat and her sushi, little blanket. sushi blanket. And then um, she has that cup noodles <laughs> onesie. So I'm going to be finally changing her. I just haven't had any time to work on her. I don't know when, but I love her. Look, She still looks so cute without any paint. She is super cute. <laughs> you should just make a video of changing her. That'd be fun. Bye! <laughs> so we're doing layer two. Layer two of modeling starts to really add a little bit. Look at that. You can see it now. Look! You can see it! Oh my gosh. So I'm probably just going to do two layers of modeling on it right now. And then I'll bake it. And then when it comes back out, I will do another two layers of modeling. I do a lot of modeling. A lot of modeling. It's actually one of the main ways that I build my skin tone is my mottling. I do purple and uh, pink. Well, a shade, a shade of pink. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been working on a custom ocean over here. He is so cute. He's cuter than my ocean. You can't really see him that well, but he is so adorable. So precious. This ocean, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, he's. Well, my ocean that is two coloring, years old. Wow. But this it's really one is hard super to see cute. on camera. Yeah, it is. Because it, 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 I don't know. It is. It doesn't look the same in person, I'll have to say. But if you want a custom ocean by Christmas time, I do have two spots available on the website. Woo! There's a custom uh, spot available. And then your custom ocean will be home for Christmas. Yay! Okay, so we got that big old noggin done. This dog can't bake in the oven all at once. I'm just going to answer those questions. It goes in pieces. It goes the arms and the head and then the legs separately. But this doll has such beautiful little features. I like it. It's a really nice doll. And the Lottie, she already sold. The Lottie sold to Carol, Woo! which where she got her eyebrows out. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. She's Guess how many dolls Carol has? Because I bet you're all gonna guess wrong. Maybe oh, some will guess. Five. But the number I thought I was wrong. Maybe the person that guessed right, we send them a little something. Oh, good. That, that, that keeps, but it's a slow. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Tina says 46. Tammy says 18. Gail says 53. If I go to a doll show, y'all gotta talk to Sugar. Sugar's supposed to be throwing a doll show sugar, where sugar. I attend. <laughs> <laughs> Frosted sugar cookie. She's like, what was the number again? <laughs> <laughs> She's slick. She's hoping I would like be like, oh yeah. <laughs> so far, I haven't seen the number. So far, we haven't seen There's there's been some people kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> some people kind of close. JJ's Doll World says, It's funny, but I knew Carol was going to buy Lottie before she did. Oh, really? I didn't know. I didn't, you know, I didn't even think about Carol buying Lottie because, well, I, I don't, I mean, she has too big. I don't know what she's, you know, I never know what she's looking for. I actually don't really know what her style is. I feel like she just likes a lot of it. Um, wait, is it? Wait, you don't even know the number? I forgot. Ah, no, 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 it, no, wait, 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 no, no, no. Okay, wait. look, it's right here. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just <laughs> trying to see if anybody's gotten close. We're throwing number signs. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys can't see. <laughs> We're throwing number signs. <laughs> Not gang signs. Number signs. Mana says, my daughter said I have 300 dolls. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Well, you go, girl! Oh my god! Okay, I see one that's kind, kind of close. Nobody's gotten it so far. No, we're gonna do it in Arizona! 
Sugar's in Arizona. Sugar, we gotta do this now. Sorry, I put you on the spot. Uh, one day in the future, Sugar, we're gonna have to do it. Arizona is a great state for it. Not too far away. Wait, did you say? Yes. Okay. Gosh, okay. this one over here. <laughs> Nobody's. I'm, I thought you guys would have got it. There's right by some now. really close ones. But we can't even tell you where you're close because we <laughs> don't want you to know that much. Yeah, you can guess as many times as you want. Oh, there's a really, really close one. Oh. Yes. Let's do it. I'll promote it. You'll have a doll show. Be like. Yeah! So many people. We'll have so much fun. We'll have, we'll go to Target. We'll, we'll go to Target. One, one of the doll shows I did, um, we went shopping at Target, a bunch of us. Yeah, so that'd that be fun. Yeah, that a lot of fun. Yeah, so we'll go to Target. That's what I'm talking about. And we did like different nights. We would, we've done a pajama, uh, some of them did pajama night at Target with their babies. It's fun to go and hang out outside and do stuff outside of the doll show. Oh my goodness. So Amanda yeah, says, Sugar. I'm down. I love Target. Sugar, we gotta get serious on this now. Amanda went to Target twice today. <laughs> it sounds like us. There is like a couple that have hit it so there is a couple of you have been a number off. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. A number off. A number away. All you gotta go is a number down. Oh. But it doesn't tell you much because that well, unless everybody goes in number town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's hilarious. Judy says, wow, I thought seven was a lot. <laughs> guess, <laughs> guess I have a few more to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think Gail's guess she went way high. Oh, I can't tell you guys high. Whoop, I gotta go down. <laughs> now I just get a hint. It's just funny. I seriously thought this would have... It, um, I could give a clue, but nah. Oh, so close. Oh, people are getting so close. I see the numbers reverse. You know? <laughs> I see. Oh, man, again, somebody is one number up. You got to go a number down. <laughs> <laughs> one number down and you got it. I ain't telling who, but there's been two. I've seen two in here. If you just want a number down, you would have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure no one has said it yet. Because I'm thinking No, attention. nobody has said it yet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Ke Kelly says my <laughs> Roxanne just went high. <laughs> Because dang, that went for a long time. <laughs> I was just thinking a business card. <laughs> a business card. I didn't even have a business card. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, no. No, no, no just like, but dang, I thought that you guys would get this like in 10 guesses. Seriously, didn't think it would take that long. Aw, babe. <laughs> no, it's fun because I thought it would be over quick. <laughs> and Osaka's still going. <laughs> she might be a little delayed. <laughs> Her feet uh, might be a little delayed. So I think I got my second layer going on here. Oh, this baby. <laughs> Lisa says pink googly eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, pink googly eyes. Here's a, you get an eye, you get an eye, you get an eye. You have a lot of eyes to do that. Carol got a set of eyes today. <laughs> going with her package. So look at this. This baby I might put in my collection. Just might. Doris, you were close. Yay! You guys are so much fun. I'm pretty much done with it. Osaka, if you said it recently, you said it really late. We never saw 63. I saw her, she gets 43. She said, I'm she going said back to check. I'm going back to check, but so far I, I don't see. Let me see. see. I'm looking. Oh my gosh. Sugar high. Sugar said 200,000. How did we miss Osaka? 
I, I'm checking. I don't know. I saw her. Can oh, we get a clue? She also said 73. I saw so. Yeah, I did see 70. I see 66. I see 40. Let's see. I see 43. Yeah. I, I know I we couldn't have missed so. it. We're going through. I see 38, 39, 42. Sixty-seven. Uh, I see she has five dolls. Um, let's see. <laughs> I, I I didn't see. I see forty-seven again. You did forty-seven twice. That's for sure. Let's see. Um, I see fifty-five, eighty, seventy-three. 50. I just want to make sure. I see 75 again. Just want to make sure we didn't miss it. I don't like to not do this right. Bear with me one second. I've got to be getting to the top sometime. Okay, yeah, no, I went through all of them, Osaka. I didn't see it. All right. What, baby? This one. Oops, her feet glitched, she said. This one right here. Oh, this one is so Juno. Cute. Definitely might put this one to my collection. I need Yay! to bring on a new baby, but I don't know. I just haven't been feeling any of the dolls. You know what? And that's okay because when you made Storm, you didn't fall in love with him until after he was rooted. Yeah, but I sold him like a month later. Okay. Our love wow. wasn't strong. Wow. Our love was not strong. <laughs> I'm trying. Look at Ocean's been here two years. Parker's been here. I don't know how long now. How long? Five years, six years. We need another year's baby. Yeah. I mean, so I want to bring in. Holly's been here for a few months. I mean, for a bit. Yeah, I Christmas. Can't remember. She came in at Christmas time. So, I would like to have him stay for a little bit. Storm was an accident. Aww, <laughs> poor baby. I was an accident. It's okay. I did just fine. I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm kind of. I go to therapy for it, you know, twice a month. But I'm okay. <laughs> I am okay. Uh, since ever since Miss America, you found your. Hey, Jen, did you see Ocean? That's him in the thumbnail. Uh, it's him right here too. Yeah, Nana loves her Ashton. I know. I want to find the one that I love. I think I'm going to love this one when it's done. I need an awake one. Jen says it's America. Yeah, it's America's fault. I, you know, she is pretty funny. Like, well, yeah, right? After you got her, I'm like, what else do you need? Frosted um, says, how big do you think the smiling baby will be? Well, um, the last toddler I thought would be 12 months, but it was 6 months. I'm guessing this one is probably going to be six months to nine months because it looks about the same size as the toddler I just finished but it's got three quarter legs full arms that other one had full legs so I'm thinking probably six months nine month clothing that's what I'm thinking so the last toddler is the size of Parker I'm thinking he's going to be similar to the size of Parker yeah he looks amazing he's over here because I gotta varnish his hands again I like to do like really good varnishing on the hands and feet like I like to do multiple layers of varnishing on the hands and the feet because well when you change them those are the most like directly touched things and then we'll be doing his nails he's gonna have a spa day Asaka likes your Michael Jackson shirt oh thank you <laughs> I got this off of eBay um it's pretty old for vintage it's looking really well um, but yeah, so his little nails are gonna get done. And then this is Gail's baby. This is her Betty. Woo! Funny story, funny story with Betty. I went to root Betty's puff the, poof the other day and I could have sworn I gave this kid eyebrows. Well, I only gave it one eyebrow. I had to go do the other eyebrow. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's poor going baby. on? <laughs> So yeah, so this is her baby, and then I'm going to be putting a poof on there. But yeah, I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I forgot to give you an eyebrow. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you know, things happen. It, the, the good thing is, is that it didn't go home that way. And then uh, Gail would be like, it doesn't have an eyebrow. I'd be like, Gail, stop, stop playing me. I know it had two eyebrows when it left here. <laughs> 
She says Miss that little, little Miss Amelia. Yeah, she. I'm gonna be reading her poof here soon. I was gonna read it sooner. <laughs> Thought I'd find I had technical difficulties with her head. But yeah, she's so cute. I don't know if these are her fine. I think I'm gonna be changing her eyes. So I don't really. I'm gonna do different eyes. I don't know which ones. Actually, I think I know these ones right here. I have these other ones. I have some different eyes I want to give her. I don't... Well, we're going to go right. Different eyes right now. We'll put in these other eyes. These ones are just too dark. They're too dark for my liking. I don't like how they look. For her. They were just in there to kind of guide me. I have to have eyes in to kind of get my final coloring, you know, to know where I'm at. So sometimes I have eyes in the doll's head that don't belong. So we're going to pop in her eyes right now. This freaking foot be getting that thing away. <sighs> it's back at it again. I'm going to move that leg right out of the way. Let me see my grandmother's ring. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh. So that was my grandma's wedding ring. That woman, she was a size five. Me and, my, um, me and one of my aunts was like, size five. I was like, yeah, I know, right? Because my grandma was a little bit plump. And I was like, she had tiny fingers. So I could only get it sized up to a seven and a quarter. That's why it's on my pinky ring. But with as much weight as I'm losing, it'll be on my ring finger in no time. Uh, I don't know where the weight is going, but it is going away. It's like, say la vie. I need it. I can't show you the face right now size five I know so tiny and it's a seven and a quarter it's pretty tiny still for myself Jackie can wear uh, the ring on her wedding finger it fits Jackie perfectly I guess I just have like an average size finger because it's an average yeah it's size. like a seven yeah I just have average size oh my gosh these eyes are the life I knew it let me see let us no, see no wait I'm not then let us see I'm still putting a second one in. I'm putting this. Whoa! You wear a four and a half when you're thin. Woo! That's tiny. skinny finger. Tiny finger. I have man hands. <laughs> man hands. <laughs> I was so insecure growing up with my hands. My mom used to always tell me I have man hands. I have. I just say you have your dad's hands. Aww. I was so insecure with my hands that you know how like when you're. In, you know, junior high, and you're like, oh, if I could get a plastic surgery done, what would you get? You know, kids just talking. Oh, I'd get my lips done. And they'd be like, what would you get? I was like, I would get new hands. Aww. Because I would sit in class <laughs> with my hands like this. I would not let them be out. I was so embarrassed of my hands because, well, my family would give me such a hard time about them being man hands. I mean, they're pretty big. Don't get me wrong. They are pretty big, but I can grab things and throw them if I need to. So, um, I, I was always insecure about them. I'm not anymore. I don't know why. I guess I just got over it. Because, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be able to get a hand transplant. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I get new hands? I just don't like these ones. People have been making fun of me. So, yeah. Um, I have big hands. And my ring finger, it's like a, I don't know. It's, I guess it, I can wear a men's, it's a nine. Maybe a little smaller now. But, um, yeah, it's like I've lost a lot of weight, and I'm like, I just Yay! have, like, big bones in my fingers. Big I'm bones. actually weighing, t today with clothes on, I weighed 215 pounds, and I had shoes on, too. I was like, oh. I used to be 275 pounds. When my kid ran away, I was 275 pounds. <sighs> I got skinny. Got skinny. I've lost a lot of weight. But that's not why I got skinny. I just take care of myself. I'm just, I've made different eating choices and stuff, you know? Just being good to my body, living healthy. Not too healthy, because I do eat what I like. It's just, I take some stuff to clean out my system and keep me well. And it works with your weight, and it just helps keep things off of you that shouldn't stay on you. So, yeah, thank you. No, um, I'm glad, because, like, I used to have aches and pains and just be like, ugh. Congratulating Gosh. you. Thank you. I've never kept the weight off either. Like, usually I'd lose like 15 pounds and put on 45 pounds. Look at you guys all losing weight. Woo! Nice. Congratulations, Tammy. Nice. It's not Hello. easy, that's for sure. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. Not this. 
Do you mind actually putting yeah. this guy in the oven so it can start doing its thing? I have something to show you guys. Um, so you guys know that I was given a vintage dollhouse baby by Brittany. Well, once upon a time, Jackie and I had found a little vintage toy buggy at a, I don't know, thrift store or something for a couple bucks. And I, we just remembered we had it. And so I uh, found it and put the little vintage baby doll in it. Check out this buggy, okay? It's 10. This is a 10 buggy. I don't, I don't know what year this was made in Ohio. Wait, what the heck does that say? The Ohio, oh yeah, the Ohio Art Company, or Co. The, oh, the Ohio Art Co. Oh, so yeah, this was made in Ohio. Uh, <laughs> skinny teacher! B-R-Y-A-N, Ohio. Brian. Wait, what? What is it? Brian, Ohio? B-R-Y-A-N. Uh-huh. It's called the Art Company. The Art C.O. Okay, so what is it called? What is the official name? I'm confused. It's called the Art, the the I, the Ohio Art Co. That's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> so, this, so this moves. Goes like that. You can have it there. You can have it like that. And both sides, so it's, it's tin. It's aluminum. Both sides are like that. The wheels work too. So, I mean, this is a legit buggy, like. We're going to go somewhere. I don't know where she's going, but we're going to go somewhere. But so the little vintage baby from the, I think she's from the they 40s. They were founded in 1908. 1908? Yeah. Are they still around? Uh, I don't know. It seems like they could be. That's our little vintage baby in there. This is a storybook doll from USA. This one, I think, is from the 40s. I don't know much about the little vintage buggy, but... It's super cute. We were hoping Dumpling would fit in it. She's too big. Her legs hang over. The surrealism is not there. But yeah, so we're going to utilize this with this baby. Oh my gosh, she's ready to go out. She's ready to go for a stroll. Go for a stroll. It's actually way too big for the dollhouse. This is not dollhouse scale, scale for sure. But it is so adorable. Well, guys, uh, I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me. Because the, the Ohio Art Company, they make Etch-A-Sketch. Oh, they make Etch-A-Sketch. Yeah. That's it. Wow. <laughs> well, they should make those because we'd like to have them. Oh, the Timu girls could take her for a walk. That would be so cute. Thank you for the idea. I didn't think about that, but thank you. I like that idea. So I hope you guys had fun. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know your time is valuable. I have more fun hanging out with you versus if I was by myself. So it's nice to have you guys here. Oh, we had some good laughs. I got some work done after my chaotic day with the car. Oh my gosh, my goodness. All right, guys, thank you, April. I hope you guys have a great night, great day, wherever you are. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay safe, stay positive. If you're sad and lonely, don't be. I have two groups on Instagram where there's chats. Ladies are in there. Hit me up on Instagram. I'll put you in the chat. We don't want you to be sad and lonely, okay? You guys gotta have friends. Talk to people. All right, love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.